Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we'll be talking about what is in my nappy bag if you live in England. But for my American folks, I know you guys call it diaper bag. So if you're new, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. So guys, let's get into it. Right. So guys, I am so nosy and I love watching these type of videos. <laughs> I always like to see what's in people's bags. So um, so this is my nappy bag. It's a rucksack sack. And this is actually my second um, um, nappy bag. The first one I had, it actually broke when I went to um, visit my mum. But when I say broke, I mean like the zip, the zip part just basically gave in. Because I tried to stuff so many things into it, things that were not supposed to be in there. Um, anyway, so my mom gave me this bag and I ended up using it ever since. So it's been about, I think, I, would, I want to say a month. I'm not a rack and sack type of girl, but it has grown on me since I've had it. Um, so I've, I'm actually planning to get a leather, or should I say a full leather bag um, um, instead of this. Because I feel like this look is quite casual. So when I'm looking all smart or dressed up, you know, I'm looking a bit fancy, you know, I don't want to be kind of rack sack guys, you know, it's not gonna, <laughs> it's not gonna go with the look. So, yeah, so I'm planning to get like a full leather um, um, rack sack type of bag to carry because I think it's very practical, it's so good because it frees my hands um, to, to, to do other things really, so I could just literally put this on my back and yeah, go about my business. So. <laughs> Actually, one good point also with this rack sack and also the colour is that it's unisex, so my husband can actually carry it without you know worrying about it being too girly or anything like that. And without further ado, let's actually look inside my bag. Um, where should we start? Okay, let's start from the main zip. So, um, yeah, so the bag has basically um, two um, zips. So one at the front, actually three, tell a lie. There's a small little zip, hidden zip right there. I hope you can see that. And then there's a second one here and there's a third one here, right here. And this is what the back looks like. Just the usual two strap. And the sides have um, two sides um, pockets, but it's netted so you can actually see through. So, let's look inside. All right, to kick up, to start off with, I've got my wallet in here. So basically, I don't carry a, a second bag because I feel like it's just too much hustle to be carrying it, to be carrying your handbag, you know, to put your wallet and keys and stuff like that. I just feel like it's just too much. And you know, if you're a mother, you know how hard it is to be juggling so many things. And if you have to come out the door, it's just too many things to remember. So I rather just put all my stuff in my um, nappy bag um, so yeah so I keep my wallet in, in there what else do we have so I've got a fan my son sweats like nobody's business um, so thankfully my mom <laughs> bought me this fan so when you know it gets hot you know especially if I'm out and about <clears throat> I can find him with this <coughs> excuse me okay next I've got some change of clothes, which is really, really important. So guys, I forgot to mention that, um, you know, my son is 10 months old. So, you know, it would be quite different if he was newborn because it, when they're newborn, they need more things in, in the bag. So this is for a 10 month old baby. Um, yeah, so I've got a spare vest. Always, always important to have spare change of clothes for your baby, just in case they have accidents, because we all know that they do. So I've got a spare, and um, baby onesie here so that's that then I've got a burping cloth in the bag there and I've got my breastfeeding cover um, right there so I actually bought this from Amazon and um, how much was it? I can't remember how much it was but I'm sure it's less than um, uh, a tenner, definitely less than ten pounds, um, and it's quite easy. You, you know, um, adjust it here. So 
let me show you. So I literally put it on like this. And from here you can actually see your baby. So let's pretend your baby is right there. Whichever side you decide to breastfeed. So baby is covered. And you can actually have a peek through to make sure your baby is okay. Now that my son is older, he literally kicks off the cover when we're in public, when I'm breastfeeding in public, like literally, you know, showing my goods out there. So um, I usually, usually tend to use this cover when I'm in like really um, public places um, because to be honest, I don't mind, I can breastfeed anywhere. Um, but sometimes, you know, I tend to, but I use this, especially when there's perverts out there, you know, sometimes there's some creepy type of people out there, guys. So. I uh, tend to use this, especially sometimes when I'm on the bus as well, that's another one. Um, when people are a bit too close for comfort. Let me take this off by rolling my hair. Yes guys, I've got a new look. What do you think? Do you like it? Okay, so moving on. So that's that. Um, then I've got his changing mat. And I really think this changing mat is really cool. I got this from um, Argos and I believe it was £10. Um, it says summer on there, I'm not sure if that, I think maybe that's the brand. Um, so basically it opens up like this, so you open it from here, and there it is. My son is quite big, so he's taller than the, than the um, mat, changing mat. But it's fine, because now that he's older, I change him on the floor to be honest, I don't change him on mats anymore, because it's just, just too big and plus he just wriggles everywhere and um, but I tend to use it when I'm out in public um, yeah so what I like it's got this compartment here so you can hold this still and see if you can see it yeah so you can pull nappies look I've got a spare nappy in here um, and you can pull you know whatever you like it you know like it could be I don't know and um, some cream toys whatever really I just thought it was really cool or you can actually put some white so you can pre-fill these so that when you're out in the bag you don't have to worry about looking for your nappies and wipes. Um, yeah, so I thought that's really, really cool. And what else? Also, you can actually, it's got this, um, this thing here. I don't know what you call it. I'm so bad at describing things, guys. <laughs> you can actually um, hook this this fastener thing, you can actually hook it onto your pram if you like, or, onto, or, or on the outside of your bag, you know, but I don't know who would like to do that. So, I'll put that here. Um, I've also got his drinking cup. I usually put this in a, um, a plastic, see-through plastic bag, because sometimes it tends to leak, leak, but I don't know why it does that, because it's, you know, as you can see, the um, beaker section is quite, um, it's closed but sometimes it leaks but um yeah so that's his sippy cup there in there then i've got this small little um wallet thing purse thing pencil case i don't know what you call it anyway so let's look inside by the way i didn't adjust my uh, my bag i just thought let it just be organic just drop something um, okay, so God knows what we will find here. Okay, um, so guys, in here I've got a medley of different things. So it's, it's almost like my mini medicine cabinet, but you know, a travel one um, in this case. Um, so I've got nail clipper in here. Put that there. I've got a nick to suction. Um, any runny nose. I've got um, cow gel, his teething gel. Um, I've got baby rub. So just in case it gets chesty if I'm out and about, then at least I can apply that. I don't go anywhere without, um, without his normal saline. So these are things I carry every day. With babies you never know, so it's always good to be safe than sorry. So I always make sure I always carry this case with me. Um, so I've got some peppermint oil. And uh, sometimes I just apply when it's, when his nose is a bit stuffy. I just apply a few drops to the um, tissue and just kind of put it near him, so that you know to help unblock his nose. And um, what else? Um, I've got his um, vitamin C that was given by the health visitor, and I always keep forget to. Um, I'm not really consistent with giving him his vitamin. It's not vitamin C. What am I talking about? It's vitamin D. 
drops so I'm not really consistent if I'm honest but they do say that breastfed baby need to you know um, the government have the government advises to you know give them at least five drops per day to help boost their vitamin D because they can't really calculate how much um, or not calculate but measure how much they, they actually take um, yeah and I also got a thermometer right here yeah you can't go in a, anywhere with a thermometer um, and I've also got two safety pins yeah so that's it that's what I've got in here and I've got everything there right let's see what else I've got okay so I've got some nappies I always make sure I carry at least five or, five or six nappies how much have I got here four uh, yeah, so I've got about five nappies in the bag. Um, so these are the um, Sainsbury's own brand. Um, I was using, what was I using when I was a baby? I had so much, I had Pampers, I had Huggies. Um, but if I had to choose between Huggies and Pampers, I prefer Pampers. But uh, I've really come to like um, Sainsbury's own brand and also Asda. They're cheaper, they do the job just fine. He doesn't get any rashes, it's nice and comfortable and it's cheaper guys so you know you guys might want to look into that because sometimes we get too caught up with big brands and we think just because you know it's well known it means it's better no do your own research <laughs> right um and i've got pampers wipes again i tend to use and um, this was actually gifted gifted to me um i've got a box of these uh, but i normally tend to buy um asda's own brands and um wipes they're just as good as well um, what else? I've got an umbrella. Now guys, if you live in England, everybody carries an umbrella. Like, you know, with England you can never tell when the weather might change. So, we always carry umbrellas, like, in our bags. Well, I do at least, anyway. It's always good to be prepared. Um, so I've got his book, baby book to read, to entertain him. So, when we're out and about, I can just pick this up when it starts to be a little bit grumpy and then we can read something to just keep him entertained more toys and more toys so that's the first compartment so that's empty let's move on to the second compartment what do we have okay so in the second one we've got some toys let me take that out so we've got his baby book which has the different textures and the noise. It's got a mirror, so he loves that. I've got a bib, another bib. <laughs> you can never have too many bibs. Um, I've got a snack for him. I usually have more than that. Um, I think we run out so we need to get some more snacks. So when we're out and about, I just let him um, eat these, keep him quiet. Um, I've got his um, teether, which this one is called Zolly. Um, he really likes it, so when it's teether, I just give it to him to chew on. And I've got this from Amazon. And what else? I've got lip gloss. I need to keep these lips <laughs> nice and moisturized. So that's it for the second compartment. And I like the fact that it's got different compartments, so it allows you to just, you know, kind of organise yourself and put, you know, different things in different sections. Um, the small compartment, the tiny one I was telling you about, has another Tiva. I don't know why this is in here, because I like to always keep one at home. So I'm going to have to take that out. I've got a pen here. Always important to have a pen on you. Um, nappy bag, I've only got one here. I've run out, so I need to um, buy some more. Another to you, but okay, so that's it for all. Oh, I forgot. There's another compartment here within the main one. I forgot to look in dig deep. Oh, I've got antibacterial um, hand gel. Um, so when we're out and about, and I need to, and I'm not able to, you know, clean my hands, I use this, especially after I change his nappy. Um, and then I've got um, shea moistures, um, raw shea, chamomile and argan um, oil, baby head to toe ointment, you can see that. 
and this is really really good it's an all-in-one really so you can apply it here it says you can apply on the baby's lips cheeks hands arms and legs um, um, apply liber liberally to baby's bottom with each diaper change um, I don't really I don't use this to um, when I change his nappy really I don't really use any, any nappy rash cream or anything like that on him um, and he's never had any um, nappy rash thank goodness touch wood um, so I, I, I use this um, I use this as a hand cream or if his face is a bit dry or his body or whatever so it's just always handy you know um, yeah to have this in my bag so. um, <clears throat> on the outside I've got let's see tissue I always have tissues guys obviously we have children another pen what else? lip balm and so I usually have a Vaseline on the outside pocket to remedy that situation for going to dry lips and, and here I've got another another hand cream. This is shea butter that I made myself, homemade. You never have enough moisturizers about. So guys, so that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe, like, share, and comment. And I shall see you in the next video. Au revoir.